Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending September the 9th, 2022. Markets are, are bullish this morning. Uh, the the S&P broke through its 50-day moving average. The technicals indicate uh, next resistance would be less than 1% away, right around uh, 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 0.88 of 1%. So uh, there's probably going to be some resistance right there. Given the news from the Fed and everything, this seems to be just a, a fluctuation move. Nice relief from the uh, constant down, down, down that we saw uh, for, for the last uh, several several days, last couple of weeks. But uh, nearing resistance uh, technically. And uh, so kind of the same thing with the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ uh, not above its 50, but uh, hitting resistance right at its 50. We remain consequence, uh, consequently predominantly in cash and cash alternatives. There's a lot of cash alternatives out there uh, that are, are giving us, uh, uh, while not speculative moves, but some decent uh, returns here as we await uh, time, the passage of time and the economy to straighten and, and, and the uh, economy to right its ship. The Fed continues probably to announce uh, uh, another 75 basis point hike around the end of this month and then around you know September the 20th thereabouts and then uh, you know as we move into October uh, we'll finish out the fiscal year September 30 then you move into October November uh, for the new earnings seasons uh, for Q3 and that'll determine your, your price on multiple levels so uh, you got to be prepared for these kind of things and 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 what it's going to uh, do we're not necessarily predicting the markets but anticipating and posturing uh, so that we're prepared uh, so uh, there's ways to eke out small amounts of return here as we go along that's what we're trying to do for our clients so if you're not uh, with somebody that's doing that kind of thing for you and monitoring it give us a call come on over to us all right let me switch the time and discussion uh, briefly then to inflation and what the inflation impact is going to be because it's still it's still out of control and the Im Im impact that it's going to be on retirees and how that can increase your tax exposure uh in retirement that's not a good thing inflation is a very cruel tax in and of itself for everyone but particularly the demographic of people that are already in retirement and and uh, and taking social security or if you're anticipating ta taking social security this is the time to come to us and really analyze this and get down in the weeds and discuss you know whether or not it's a good time to claim if you've already claimed how we get around this because the inflation uh, impacts everything everything rises okay even in social security you get a cola benefit but what remains static are those social security taxation thresholds that we, we use to calculate provisional income if you don't know any of these things that i'm talking about definitely give us a call this is the thing that we teach in class okay when we hold our our, our community college seminars we teach this kind of thing in class and if enough of you contact us maybe we'll just do a separate webinar on this thing but look you've got to be postured for this and ready for this in your tax deferred accounts and your ta taxable accounts tax now tax later accounts okay we would call them that if you're if you don't have the right types of balances in those accounts if you're too exposed then uh, to to taxation risk especially if you're already claiming Social Security. So it's going to move you into that tax torpedo even for moderately uh, uh, leveled income people. It, Social Security taxation is not for people only that make a lot of money. It's not. It's going to hit because of the inflation and because of the way the law is, is geared right now. It's going to impact lower level uh, incomes of Social Security benefits as well as middle income. We have an entire analysis on this and can show you how it effectively can raise your uh, tax rates 150 to 185 percent over what your nominal tax bracket really is okay so um, hopefully that doesn't come across as a lot of gobbledygook even if it did definitely contact us we'll, we'll go through I have only a limited amount of time here in these little weekly blurbs that we do to fully explain it but we want to be insulated against this because you uh, otherwise are going to be paying far too much in taxes as time goes on 
because of the Social Security taxation that causes spend down of other assets prematurely. Not a good thing. And you, you don't want it to cut into your lifestyle. All right. So there's ways to position around this. All right. Uh, as we get into the last couple of days, weeks of, uh, of summer, enjoy yourself. Enjoy this beautiful weather. We're getting into that perfect season as the humidity leaves here in the greater metro Atlanta area and the, uh, the perfect weather starts coming in for a while. It's a nice relief uh, from the dog days. Okay. In the meantime, you stay happy. We know it's the key to longevity. See you next time.